Let's check the corner of Lance as they're trying to tend to a bleeding mouth. It's been a rough, grueling fight for Lance as Mike Oliver has done just about everything he's wanted to. And here's some of that from round six. And take a look at a beautiful left hand delivered by Mike Oliver. Bam, as he Ooh. lands that shot. Real nice. Nice left hand by Oliver as he gets the right hander moving back right into his uh, right into his power shot that left. And it is an accumulation of punches with Mike Oliver, isn't it? Oh, it most definitely is. He's not going to hit you with one, but he'll hit you with 13. I mean, th this kind of discrepancy in speed between the two guys uh, makes can make for a big difference. Oh yeah. In, in the absence of all other factors. Yeah. And you know how we talk about George? We talk about that. Uh, the fact that Oliver is not going to really hurt you with one, but he's going to hurt you with a lot. Uh, he's starting to close the left, the left eye of Lance, and uh, that's going to cause a lot of frustration for Lance over the course of the end of this fight here. Now, this is a weight class that isn't necessarily dominated by Americans, Dana. How, how far do you think young Mike Oliver can go? Because he certainly has a, a great amount of ability. Uh, he has natural ability. You can clearly see that uh, that his ability is hard baked into his style and uh, just who he is as a fighter. So uh, I, I I don't see the end for this kid, Oliver. He's going to go right to the top uh, without question because he just he's a natural born fighter. When you talk about a guy with 150 amateur fights, uh, you know, with uh, you know potentially upwards of 300 amateur fights, when you consider all the Junior Olympic stuff and the stuff that he did before he was 15 years old. Well, I mean, this, this kid is just at home in the ring, and therefore, uh, you know, he, he's able to hit guys with shots like that as he moves to his right, moves back to his left, back to his right, lands that hard counter right jab that hits his opponent like a right hook because he made his opponent thrust his face into him. That's how this kid Oliver fights. He's a real talent. I mean, thinking back, you know, at this weight class, maybe Guy like Too Sharp Johnson might be a guy that he might, you know, aspire to be like a multiple-time world champion. And that's a that's that's a that's a really good fighter for uh, someone like Mike Oliver to look up to. And that that left eye is getting more closed by the second, as that right jab has just found a mark right on that eye. You see, and again, it's not it's not a, an overwhelming uh, display of power by Oliver, but it has its effect, you know, and you can clearly see on uh, Lance's face. Oliver shooting to Lance this way, right above us right now. There's the uppercut. Obviously, Lance's game and, and wants to see this thing to the end, but you wonder why bother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he is he is still in it in the case where his uh, his his level of offense goes down that much more You could make a case for, for stopping it. However, you know Lance, Lance is still throwing punches and uh, well, I'm sure I'm chance. sure if his corner tried to stop it then get some argument from oh, the yeah. fighter But oh, yeah. it, but it's one of those things, you know, if you really care about the guy Why would you even let him come out for that? Yeah, so well, he's got a bad cut Absolutely. on the inside of his mouth as well now He's got a cut on the inside of his mouth. His face is messed up. Yep. Left eye is swollen and, shut. And he hasn't there's around. nothing to indicate that this fight is going to turn around in three more minutes. Three minutes to go here at Mohegan Sun. Working from home changed my life. Dot com now. All right, let's check some action. First, the corner of Mike Oliver. Three minutes to go. Clearly ahead on the scorecards, you would think, and here's some action from round seven. Once again, we're going to take a look at that hard roll. Right. You see, that is what I'm talking about the whole night. Oliver will pull you in and make you thrust your face into his hand. He's not the hardest puncher, but he's going to shake you with shots like that. And let me tell you, Lance is a tough customer. He is a tough guy, and he, he took that good hard shot from Oliver, so you really do need to give Terry Lance credit. Good sportsmanship there. A big hug to start the eighth and final round here at Mohegan Sun. George, quickly, the scorecard through seven. Is it still a shutout on your you card? You got it 70 to 63 right now, so uh, yes, it is. Boy, that, that left eye of Lance is just an ugly, swollen mess. I think if any of the judges were going to make a case for, for giving Lance a round, it might be the first one, which was probably the closest right. to the bunch, but... Uh, That was a nice combination that time. Had a little effect on Oliver. Oh, 
Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Lance does some body work. Oliver catches him with a beautiful right hook and then a sweeping left cross. Well, he rattled his skull, didn't he? Oh, he definitely did. Man. And Oliver's kind of hanging on. And, uh, not Oliver, but uh, Lance is kind of hanging on there. Yeah, Lance very frustrated right now. Oh, yeah. Oliver looking off to the crowd, picking out friends and family and waving <laughs> to him. I don't know if uh, Terry Lance could have done anything different tonight. He had his game plan, which was to close the distance and try to nullify that speed. He tried. Oh, he, he, he most definitely did, and he still tried. And he is paying the price. I mean, here you're right, Dana. Oliver, oh. big combination, and Lance is stunned up against the ropes. Now Oliver wants to take him out, oh, and he absolutely. does. Absolutely. Look at that. The referee steps Look in. That. Very similar to the last time Oliver fought here. Oh, he was very similar to the last time. Yep. It's almost an identical repeat. Beautiful combinations. We can see exactly what we've been talking about the whole night. Oliver, not a particularly hard puncher, not a one-punch guy, but he's going to...